Good morning. It's January 16th, Monday. About to start my last semester of undergraduate college. And also start my job as a journalist at a Topeka news station. But let's get right into this information. Clippers are interested in Mike Conley. Mike Conley. I've talked about this. This is a weird trade. We talked about it on the NBA show today. The, the way this trade would work. Not the easiest one to say at the very least but let's get right into it let's talk about it so the los angeles clippers are going to be without backup point guard john wall for at least two weeks wall has suffered an abdominal strain that will keep him out of action for the clippers who are battling to stay out of the western conference play in tournament john wall's absence and overall concerns about their point guard death has led to the los angeles clippers to inquire about trading for mike conley of the utah jazz and are on the precipice of missing the postseason. That has some believing Utah could look to move some veterans at the trade deadline. And in his 16th season, Conley's play has started to slip. He's averaging 10.2 points, which is the lowest figure since his rookie year. Conley's shooting 38% from the field, but he is dishing out a career high seven and a half assists, still a defensive dog. And there's a little difficulties in making this trade possible due to the fact that Conley all right, so you could either package like Robert Covington and you need $23 million, basically, Clippers, to get this deal to work. And when you look, they, the Clippers play basically a 12-man, 11-man rotation. So the easiest deal to get this done would be Reggie Jackson, Reggie Jackson and Robert Covington. I don't know if that's what Utah would want. Would Utah rather have Luke Kennard and Nick Batum? I don't know. Because they're not trading Norman Powell, the Clippers. They're not trading Marcus Morris. So I think the only guy really expendable right here is Robert Covington. Will you package Robert Covington and Reggie Jackson for that? But then you beat up your depth. And then you think, okay, do you do Robert Covington and Nick Batum? And you're trying to figure out who out of those because it's got to be a combination of Robert Covington with either Reggie Jackson or Robert Covington with Nick Batum or Robert Covington with Luke Kennard. And those are the only combinations of picks that I could think that would work or players. But which of those players are expendable? Because the only expendable player when you look at stats, the way the team's playing is Robert Covington. But do they even want to give up Robert Covington's defense? But it seems like he's the only guy that they would be fine with moving. And what concerns me is I think because a lot of the players that they have are win now, are those even players that the, the Jazz would be necessarily interested in? So then you start thinking, okay, are they going to make you attach a pick? And that's, that's the interesting part about this. I don't know if they're going to make them attach a pick because it's... It's, it's definitely interesting to see how this all plays out because I don't know if this is the, the right deal or what is the right deal, okay? Because this is a team that the Clippers, a lot of the players are win-now guys, guys who if they do you know get traded for, they're expected to contribute rather like why you, I uh, don't know. Also, I just saw a video that says I shouldn't use Zell, and I use Zell all the time. But but yeah, I think this is a big thing. So, big thing about this trade is what is the the right value for Mike Conley that you know the Jazz are going to be cool with. Because I'll admit, it, it's definitely a little bit difficult, and I don't know what's the right deal for Mike. I love Mike, okay? Mike's so much fun, but again, who who's the what's the right cost for him? And that's where I'm still undecided. And I want to hear your guys' opinions down below in the comments section. What What is your price for a guy like Mike Conley if you're the Clippers? And what's the price for Mike Conley if you're the Jazz? I don't think any picks should be involved. But I don't know at what point is he just too, like, are the players that the Clippers have any interest for the Jazz?
I don't know.